Hey, you playa, if you just went through a breakup, you are probably a heaping ball of confusion and bewilderment. Why didn't things work out with this person? Now, before you do anything brash, I want to tell you what you should never, ever do right after a breakup. This is going to save you a major headache and a lot of future heartbreak as you move forward. Not a single person in this world wants to be on the receiving end of a breakup. It sucks to get caught off guard like that, and you're left with all these unresolved feelings which might lead you to want to seek out revenge and retaliation against that person. Now, it might not get as extreme as you keying their car or burning a box of their clothes, but you might feel more compelled to want to spread rumors about that person, to tell people those deep secrets that they shared with you privately just so you can stick it to them, to do anything you can to make them jealous of you, to make them miss you, to make them regret their decision of ever breaking up with you. In the short term, doing any of those actions might feel great. You're going to feel all the stress lifted off your chest, but you're not actually escaping your problems, nor are you resolving anything. All you're doing is creating more drama and issues that are going to follow you around into your next relationship or wherever you go. Number two, avoid isolating yourself and withdrawing from everyone that you know. Right after a breakup, you might feel like you want a bit of alone time, which is totally normal. But if you cut off your support system, you'll have no one to process those feelings with. You'll be stuck in a loop of thinking about why you broke up with that person over and over, never really being able to work out an actual reason because you have no one to actually work it out and talk to. And I know sometimes as a guy, it can be hard to be vulnerable in front of your friends. Maybe they've never seen that emotional side to you. They've only known you as this jokester, as this stoic guy. Now is the time though to lean on them, to let them see that you're not one dimensional, that you have deep feelings and you're relying on them to help you get through them. Number three, avoid any kind of stalking or obsessive behavior. This can take the form of constantly checking their social media pages to see if they've posted anything new or if they found a new partner and are now sharing that with the world. Also, avoid reaching out to them over and over. Look, sometimes you're going to be pulled into the idea to want to text them again, to want to see how they're doing. Stay away from it. After your breakup, the more time you invest in their life moving forward, the more it's going to hurt your self-esteem because you're going to see eventually that they're going to move on. They're going to find someone new. They're going to continue on with their life. And if you're not doing the same, you're going to feel like you're falling behind, like they took a piece of you and you can't move forward. Don't give them that power. Number four, become aware of any negative habits you take on and put an end to them. Sometimes that could take the form of different types of addiction, like alcohol abuse, substance abuse, or even pornography addiction. Catch yourself when you find yourself falling into those patterns and stop it. I'm not saying that's always going to be an easy thing to do. Sometimes you may need to reach out and have other people step in to help you. That might mean getting a group of friends together to go exercise, picking up a hobby that you're really interested in and joining a community surrounding it, or reaching out to a therapist for help. If you feel like your breakup is affecting you on a much deeper level and the advice I'm sharing here or anything that your friends would tell you is just not enough, definitely check out the link to BetterHelp down below. Go to betterhelp.com slash the Josh Speaks. You can start working with a therapist to process what you're going through. It's a wonderful service and I think it'll be a wonderful aid in helping you recover from this breakup. And number five, avoid jumping into a rebound relationship. Sometimes the first thing you want to do is to find someone else as a distraction, someone else you can latch onto so you don't have to think about your ex. But all that's going to do is create more confusion and heartbreak for yourself down the line. You're eventually going to realize that you don't actually like this person and don't want to be with them. They're just kind of that fill in person so you don't have to actually process what you're going through. Granted, jumping back into the dating pool can be a huge boost for your self-esteem. Right after you break up with someone, especially when you were the one broken up with, you might feel like you're not attractive enough or you don't even know how to interact with people in a dating scene because you're so used to how things were with your ex-partner. This can be a great way for you to get that validation from others, to see that people can find you attractive, people can find you charming and funny and interesting to talk to once again. But I will add to that and say, be honest with yourself. Don't just jump into another relationship. Take that time to get to know other people. Work up those dating skills again. Learn how to talk. Learn how to flirt. 
learn how to showcase your best self once again. A breakup of any kind is sad, but it is also an opportunity for self-discovery and personal growth. Reflect on why that relationship ended, what you bring to the table, and how you can move forward to find someone else that aligns with your goals and values in life. That's the best thing that you can do. Don't fall into those negative behaviors that I mentioned before because all they're going to do is keep you stuck in the loop of the past. Because even though your ex may not see it, you bring a unique value to the table that one day someone will appreciate and discover. You have to put in the work though and continue working on being somebody great. Now what I want you to do is check out the video over there on the side where I'm going to talk about this idea of moving on after a breakup. It can be hard to think about where do you even start. Check out that video and I'll catch you next time. As always, love and peace.